Dear participants, I regret that I cannot be with you today. I am sure we would have had lots to discuss. Like the Green Planet Association, I have made the circular economy one of my priorities. We both know what our industries need, access to affordable low-carbon materials that are locally recycled. This helps the environment and it keeps our industries competitive. And, just as importantly, it generates local jobs and growth. As you know, the European Commission is committed to a new and a more ambitious circular economy package. This autumn, we will present our proposal. This will include a legislative text on waste targets and a product package to close the loop of the circular economy. It will take into account the big differences in waste management across Europe. We will make sure countries receive the level of support, the pull and push measures that they need to deliver good waste management. This will be part of an action plan which will look at the wider aspects of the circular economy. We need to ensure that products are designed to be repaired, reused, remanufactured and then recycled. We also need to ensure there is a real market for the secondary raw materials in the EU. Happily, many tools are already at our disposal. We can stimulate the transition to a circular economy and boost private investment in the sector. We can use legislation, incentives and financial support such as through the new European Fund for Strategic Investments. The potential is real. Countries like Romania, which landfills most of its waste rather than recycling it, stand to benefit the most. Our estimates say there is a potential to create some 30,000 new jobs here in Romania alone. The annual turnover of the waste sector could increase by over 3.5 billion euro. I know that the challenge can seem overwhelming, but several global IT companies like Lexmark or HP have already chosen Eastern European countries for their remanufacturing businesses. This means bringing back manufacturing jobs into the EU and rapid progress is possible. Look at Estonia. The Estonian government adopted the right measures in 2010 and went from a landfilling rate of 78% down to just 15% in the space of only three years. And here, in Romania, you are not starting from scratch. In the last decade, you have been improving energy efficiency in residential housing and public transport. It has brought forward renewable energy like biomass, wind, geothermal and hydropower. You have already shown how Romania has successfully promoted eco-innovation in local firms. Now it is time to share your views on the circular economy. From mid-May to mid-July, we are running an online public consultation precisely for that purpose. A stakeholder conference is also planned for June 25th in Brussels. Please make sure to participate so that we can build as detailed a picture as possible. I wish you very well for your discussions today and I look forward to hearing from you.